So today we're taking a look at the Citadel Tracker. This is a bolt action rifle, 17 HMR. We'll show clear on this real quick. You've got polymer or you know plastic stock, 21 inch barrel. This is made by Citadel out of Brazil. It's imported by Legacy Sports. They also do uh, several other brands, but I happened to pick up this Citadel Tracker. It's kind of interesting looking. So the overall length is 39 inches, like I said, 21 inch barrel. So you should get some nice accuracy out of the 17 HMR. So you do have the synthetic stock. You have some M-lock slots here. So if you wanna you know, put a bipod or anything else on it, you do have some weaver mounts. This is a non-adjustable stock, even though it looks like it may adjust, it does not. You do have uh, AR style grip, so you can change out this grip if you want, but this one's nice. You know, if you want a finger groove or something in there, you can do that. You do have cross bolt safety right here, and it's pretty positive. It's got a pretty decent trigger on it for what it is. This rifle was $165, so for $165, trigger's pretty damn good. I believe the MSRP on this is a little over 200, but I picked this up off of Gallery of Guns for 165. I had it sent over to my friends at uh, Tomball Pond, and they helped me out with the transfer. Uh, by the way, if you live in the Houston area or anywhere kind of north of Houston and you're in the market for a new or used gun, check out Tomball Pond. They have a huge selection. It's more of a gun store than it is a pawn shop, and they're really good folks, so check them out. Tell them I sent you. So back to this. I got this out to the range a couple different occasions. Now, I can tell you, at first, this bolt was really stiff. It has loosened up, and it's really nice. So before I took this out, I, I oiled it up you know, gave it, gave it a nice lubrication and it was still a little stiff, but I put 100 rounds through this. I did uh, 50 rounds of the Hornady 17 HMR and 50 rounds of CCI 17 HMR. And all of those went off like they're supposed to. And I got pretty good accuracy once I got it sighted in. So I'm gonna show you a target here. This was the sight in target. It wasn't even on paper when I started with this scope, which is not the rifle's fault. This optic, it was way over to the left. I had to work it back over. Once I got it sighted in though, I got a pretty decent group. So I'll show you another target here. These 10 rounds were five of the Hornady and five of the CCI. So that was at 50 yards. Now, this scope, which I'm doing a review on shortly, and you'll see that up. I believe the parallax is set for 50 on this, so reaching out to 100, things started to get a little blurry, and I wasn't able to get a great group. It's, again, not the rifle. I'm fairly confident this rifle would be more than accurate at 100 yards and beyond, probably with the right optic on it. But I threw this optic that I'm testing on here, it kind of opened up at, at 100, not so great. So that's a separate video, but doesn't really affect the rifle at all. It is the optic for sure. Uh, a couple other things I can tell you. The mag release on here is, let's see if we can get in here. You push forward, but it is recessed pretty well in here and it is pretty stiff and the mags do not want to drop free. So I did have some trouble with that. What I, had to do, what I had to end up doing is pushing that forward and kind of poking the mag out from in here. And that seemed to work. Not super impressed with that. The mags do not fall free. You're gonna to have to kind of push them or pry them out of there. I'm gonna to have to get in there and mess around with that. Oh yeah, that's something I didn't even try to do. No, nah, it's hard. Gotta work it in. Yeah, they don't wanna come out of there. Which is a downside to this, but again, this rifle was $165 and it's in 17 HMR. Now, I didn't previously own a 17 HMR, but I've always been kind of wanting one kind of curious about the caliber because it does have that you know a little further range than 22 mag or 22 long rifle for sure and i just wanted to check one out and i didn't want to spend a bunch and i know you know people like budget stuff i like budget stuff and if it works right then it's worth the money and this did work right you just have a few things that are negatives like the mag release and the bolt being a little stiff but that's you know for a cheap bolt gun, it's it's nice now, so not a problem now. So really, it's just the mag release, and that may even loosen up over time. It's super light. It's really fun to shoot, actually, and seems to be pretty accurate from what I've seen so far. 
A couple things that I didn't know. So when I ordered this, and I've seen it advertised on a couple other gun stores, they advertise this with fiber optic front and, and rear sights. It does not have sights. It does not come with sights. Okay, the bolt action 22 mag and 17, 17 HMR have no sights on them. And a lot of the stores are using the picks from the 22 long rifle, which does bolt action, 22 long rifle bolt action, which does come with fiber optic sights. So just know that you're gonna need an optic for this. You are not gonna get sights. It is a threaded barrel. However, it is half by 20, not half by 28 as advertised. So you're gonna to need to get a thread adapter. Now I looked them up. There's a couple companies making those for 20 bucks or so. So if you wanna put, you know, a suppressor on here or whatever, you're gonna need an adapter. I just wanted to pick one of these up and test it out. And this is gonna be an ongoing project. I'm gonna find the right optic for this so I can reach out a little further. And we're going to do another video with some longer range shooting and I'll show you some different types of ammo. I just wanted to get this out and just run some rounds through it and see how it performed. And so far, I like it a lot, actually. It's very comfortable to shoot ergonomically. Now for my wife, the length of pull was a little long. You know, if the, if the stock was adjustable, it'd be better. But for me, it's perfect and I'm having fun with it. So I'm gonna keep shooting this, get the right optic on here, and we're gonna get back out there. I'll bring you a, a follow-up video with some longer range shooting. That's what I got for you today, friends. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. All helps the channel. Also, don't forget to check out my campsite page. That's where I link some affiliate deals. That'll be in the description below. Also, I will link this optic in the description below as well. It is ultra budget. So if you're looking for a budget, you know, plinking optic, then this will be a good one. But I am an Amazon affiliate. So if you click on any of those links, even if you don't buy the product that I linked, it is going to help the channel, helps me buy ammo, things like that. So don't forget to check those out. And, and I will see y'all next time I make a video. Y'all stay safe out there. Appreciate you watching.